What is going on guys, Austin Urcho here back again playing Jurassic World Evolution and today we're kind of starting out on this island here because one I didn't finish I never really got more stuff added into it from the last episode no, so nothing has really changed I don't believe so I think these are all the same I have Draco Rex's Ooh, we just got a Carno somewhat unlocked um, just you know mess around with some stuff everything's you know still about the same but today is the day of the update so you will be seeing this on saturday after the update but the update for the game has come out which is of course just lucky timing with when i wanted to record the game to now it you know being out and available and everything so um there's not really much to see um with the game obviously they release like the challenge mode but i'm obviously not there yet um but some things uh let's just take a look real quick so here you can see on the feeders it shows how much so i just recently um refilled these this one should be yeah so that so there you go see carnivores have five slots and herbivore feeders had 10 slots so i did not recognize that um, everything else should be about the same we have viewing areas so let's go to the view so you can there see now it's set on uh, view so you can see the hotels now have sites around them um, that you can see and stuff and so you can use hotels now to get better range so as you can see this park is besides down here is pretty much like completely full which is pretty cool um, then we also have of course the viewing gallery so let's come down and look at here so you can click on the viewing gallery and then here on the side it says show view and there you can see what it looks like from the viewing gallery so there we have the t-rex all the way over there which is funny when i first tried this the t-rex was right here in the front so that's when i was like oh yeah these viewing galleries and i did and of course then it started roaring and it was super loud and it scared me because it was just right in front of my face and everything so that's really cool just obviously get you out in this weird view um let's see uh, i haven't tried these things oh that's really cool that's okay i did not look at these yet so yeah they oh you can zoom in and everything that'd be a good for like picture mode i don't know if you can take pictures in this view but that is so cool that you could do it i didn't i completely forgot didn't expect that let's look at the hotel because i think yeah you can do the hotel as well um is this the only view i mean it would kind of make sense I don't know if you can yeah you can't like arrow to others because obviously when you do it you have a whole range around but it does make sense you know um and that's oh yeah we have this hotel let's try this one so yeah it's just the same so this one obviously like you can't see anything just because the place might like how there's people here and everything and then one of the, there's a lot of new updates so the things some of the thing is the interaction into the hotel so you can see, you know, people in there walking in and everything. It's kind of cool. You can see, like, rooms in there, um, which you probably could before. I just never really paid attention. But, yeah, there's supposed to be, like, better interaction with buildings and stuff, I guess. Don't really know. I don't remember what else there is. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to do this thing down here for combat victories. Oh, yeah, I got to do, I think, number three is the one. Yeah, that's killed two dinosaurs. So where are you, chopper? Get in the chopper. So, yeah, that's another thing, like, the chopper... There's supposed to be multi, uh, more choppers available or something for like if when you knock things out. Oh no. Let's go into the viewing gallery and see our view here. Look at the baryonyx. They're going to eat everything. Um, but I don't want to spend all my time on here. Um, I'll just have to, you know, come back and mess with that. I don't know what else there is. Oh, the monorail. That's right. Uh, let's... Is there any monorail moving currently? Yes, there's one. Oh, can you not click on it? You may have to start at the monorail station. There we go. So here we are riding on the monorail. This is so cool. So we can see down in our park. Of course, I haven't replaced any of the dinos in this, uh hit exhibit yet so let's see what it looks like going into the monorail station this looks so cool this is much better than i thought it would be i mean obviously it'd be cool to be inside but from this view actually moving along with it oh so you go right on top so i assume we'll stop yeah we'll stop and then just sit here and wait so that is pretty dang cool i really enjoy that i don't think that's pretty much it yeah i don't think they've changed any of the bars i don't think any of this stuff's changed there's been something along with the power but i think it's just noises and stuff that they changed it'd be cool i'm always looking for ways to improve security around here and i think a hundred percent i don't know if i can do it i'll just go ahead and accept it. it oh we're really close 
Um, but it'd be cool if they would have switched stuff with this power defense, because me, I don't think they do anything. Um, so it's kind of disappointing, but let's go ahead and release one of these things. Um, they changed some dinosaur noises, which I don't know if we'll be able... Yeah, we should be able to... Uh, maybe not here. Oh, but like when I release the T-Rex... It was making different noises than what I've noticed. Like it... Overall, not really that different. But it was... Uh, so they should start fighting, hopefully. Oh, I forgot they have this new hunt thing now. So I may just have to release that and hopefully that baryonyx will eventually fight with that kajinga source and before it starts breaking out because obviously it's not happy and we have a storm coming in so let's go ahead and just open all the shelters and then that sounds like a pretty good time for us to leave of course i have been working on oh yeah the carno uh fossils and everything let's go ahead and get another now I'm trying to do this before the storm comes. Just get another expedition. I the problem is I'm having issues clicking these things. Yeah, the car, no. But anyways, let's go on now to our next island, which is Isla Sorna. And we will go to the island. Okay, so here we are at Isla, is Isla Sorna. Sorna. Of course, You've Site B of Jurassic World uh, and Jurassic Park and, uh, 3. Uh, or the Lost unexpected. World, sorry. Which, <laughs> and Jurassic uh, Park 3. Unexpected, but... You know, it just always is. So I have some sort of ideas for this park, because obviously as you see the way it's set up here with uh, the stuff no, built into Dr. walls. All too familiar with. Yes, B. Dr. Malcolm. Long and then we have dinosaurs roaming around, so we have some stegos, which we don't have unlocked yet. Be your yet. And, and then there's of taming, a spino. A number of wild attractions make up the local population. Full disclosure, where is the spino? Very very ah, there it is. Do not let this place fool you. Like Central Stop Park talking. in New York City, what appears to be nature I want to get close to the actually an elaborate illusion. So I can't like get any closer. Oh, island, <gasps> Here it is. Dinosaurs are running wild. <gasps> but that can't be true because they're And they've changed the volume on the spino or the sound so it, of course the size too, but we have nothing to compare it to is currently. Artificial and real. Uh, apparently because of the trees like we can't curve, like look at it I say I assume this is out of bounds oh yeah some stegos over here but I want to hear they've apparently given it the of course this is probably first time I've ever seen a spino so I don't at least on my game oh my god he's still talking um the first time I'm ever seeing a spino in the game so I don't know what it sound like originally but they changed the sound the sound more like it did from Jurassic Park 3 So it's cool that there's stegos and everything. Let's go ahead. So we do have some money Where are the boundaries? Okay, I guess I may go ahead and Delete out this power station Let's go ahead and delete these walls and barriers and everything. There we go. And we'll delete that one as well. And we'll go ahead and just throw in a big power station and say hopefully we can afford. But yeah, we do have money and everything. So we'll just try and throw it in. Let's see if we can get a view better. Now let's check. Oh, wow, when you... When you move the camera, it, like, moves everything now. That's weird. But I want to, like, try and keep up with this. So, like, maintain these walls. Um, shoot, that's the wrong one. I don't want electric walls. I want normal walls. There we go, normal. Okay, and we'll just... Oh, come on. It's hoping it would give me straight again. There, 
and then we'll just delete this little section off there there we go so now we've got our wall back up and then once that of course gets built up and we can go ahead and upgrade so I'll do three a three and then scheduling we may waste all of our money here from the beginning but that'll be fine okay so now it's trying to figure out what to do because I want to try it again like I said keep this as freeing as possible Ugh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I want to set up you know the little areas like this has and everything maybe let's go ahead and delete some more items because mm. I was gonna add a hotel in here let's go ahead and delete the trees goodbye trees goodbye 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 Oops, I hit the wrong button now. Let's see if we can smooth any of this out and hopefully fit a hotel. Of course, then we'll have to put the restaurants and all that sort of stuff that you need to maintain good ratings in and everything. Yeah, let's turn it sideways. Of course, it's not going to be able to fit anywhere over here. Let's get as close as we can. Okay. Smooth everything around it. So yeah, pretty much this whole thing's got to go. As much as I like it's clicking everything but what I want. Okay. So let's add the path back in. See, can we replace? Say, I have a feeling not. Dang it. Okay. We'll just go with the nicer looking. Oops. Ooh, there's a goat. <laughs> I see a goat. Go ahead and just delete that section out. Keep that out that way. Get out of my way. Why, why is there a goat all the way over here? That makes no sense. Okay, then we'll need to start adding in. I forget what the places are. A restaurant. Where's the restaurant? There it is. There we go. Zoom in close this time so we don't delete the wrong things. There we go. Look at all the people pulling out, <laughs> pouring out of the. Hopefully, I can do this before any dinosaurs come up and over here and start killing all these people. Okay, and then we need, I forget what, a shopping, clothes shop maybe? Clothes shop and the arcade, I believe, are all the buildings that you need. So let's go ahead and add in a... Uh, emergency shelter in between just to use some of the space and then we'll put the arcade down here at the very end like that there we go and then we'll delete this wall out 
And just continue it on from there, okay. And we'll just keep it going like that. Here we go, here we go. Oh, there's a Stego. Don't come over here, Stego. Um, I don't know what else to do. What else to add in? Of course, we have to add in all the facilities and everything. Just to get that out there. that section and delete this little ta well whatever tiny bit there and we'll just leave that there for now and just so we're all surrounded in and enclosed and everything let's go ahead and Upgrade all our stuff so we have outage projection 3, improved output 3, do that twice. And then I think you can do another outage protection. And then another improved output. I think that's the math. 20 if you have... Yeah, that should be... I th think. I'm trying to remember. I did this math on the last island. It's 45. Yeah, we'll just go with another improved output here. I'll figure that out eventually. If not... Another Got it! Might as well give it a look, right? Okay, let's see. Do we have everything good? Ooh. Oh, we're maxed out on people. Hopefully that'll fix that issue. Because I'm pretty sure that's... There we go. Hmm. Still showing they're hungry. I don't know what to do. Wow, even the arcade's full. There we go. Okay. So we're making a good amount of money at least to start out. So that's pretty decent. Now I just gotta figure out what to do from here. So obviously we need a monorail station. We kind of need stuff over here too. I'll have to play with that, but I'm trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, we need to probably set up. Um, okay, so let's take a section out here, maybe. Okay, and then we'll take our path. lead it out along here just something like that probably a waste of money to do all that but we're doing it anyways okay now let's go back and bring in our walls again I have no clue exactly what I'm doing here And then I will eventually mm, maybe not right now. 
I don't know what I how I want to do this, but I'm gonna do. So my whole plan is to obviously do all of this, like you know, bring this, and in each little section, you know, set up a little like village area and everything. And then, of course, I don't think it'll work for like some of the missions and everything. Um, but then just you know, bring it off along to all different little villages. Then just have viewing platforms set up where you can see just like these stegos just in the wild and everything. So we'll just put you know random like dinos out here then of course when we get over here to like where the spino is we'll do a carnivore section so then we'll actually you know separate and split off different things so there's of course our spino is it gonna do the cell phone ring that'd be cool um so yeah they have the new hunting thing increased so like it won't kill unless it's hungry and as you can see its food's not that low I don't know if it prefer like if you put like a you know a feeder out there if it would like prefer that over anything else not exactly sure how that would work um, but let's go in here so let's see if still having food issues okay I may increase this Let's go ahead and take out this area over here. So we'll deforest this whole area. And then take out the water as well. And smooth it all out. Or flatten it out maybe. Oh no. Smooth it all out. <laughs> And hopefully we can fit some more buildings and everything else over in here as well. Okay, so let's look at our operation. So we will need a... What do we need? A ranger station. That's what we need. Uh, maybe we can plant that over here maybe? So I want to try and keep it all confined in as much as possible. Oh shoot, hopefully... Okay, there is enough room there. So I'll just have to, you know, readjust and all that sort of stuff. We'll go ahead and put... Um, just delete these walls over here. Stin out the pass some more. We'll just put in some more places like the rest of this food. And then what else is the issue here? And of course, we can't do anything about that area, which we may have to eventually. Er. Let's see if we can do a gift shop. This is not supposed to be a prehistoric cage fight. A fight? Oh no. That doesn't really matter or work. have to worry about much of anything over there. I will connect this over here just so we have a power supply for this general area. There we go. And what else? Oh yeah. And I'll go ahead and add in the monorail station. Yes, I know the dinosaur's dead. I don't care about it. Let's go with... There it is. Forgot what the button was to rotate stuff. Actually... Since I will be demolishing all of this area... Let's go ahead and sit it over here and put it at like an angle.
Kind of like that, maybe. And we'll just leave that one that way. And now that, that way, just so we have it going off wherever. Then we'll add in some paths. Like that. There we go. And now I just have to <laughs> figure out the whole situation and keep everything um, up after that. So let's go ahead and add our walls back in. Good and open that since the storm's coming. Um, I don't know what else to add down here. Gift shop, toy shop. I'll get all the people rushing in. Okay, so there's still a shopping demand. Increase this price. I'll increase it a dollar just to make some profit there. So hopefully we don't have a, too much of a storm to worry about being over where we are. Because it's just this one little section to worry about for right now. What could go wrong? Okay, let's go with a shopping. Is it just this place? Not. Well, obviously, now there's. There we go. Storm's gone. You can all come out now. Okay, let's see if we can find it. So there is shopping in this place. Let's see if that will just help and add on to it. And then we'll go ahead and delete that a little bit. Sure, we'll just leave it like that for now. I can't order you to take this new contract. Sure, I'll take I it. Could. Why not? It's that good. Okay, so let's I can't see because of the trees, oh no. Come on, is there no locking over here? gonna be a goat trapped in the thing oh goodness there get out goat run free be eaten by spinos 
Get out of the way, goat. There we go. It's gonna be as good as it's gonna be. <laughs> and the goat is outside. And then of course we have the monorail not attached, which is fine and dandy. And I think that's probably gonna be it for today because this has probably been a long enough episode which I'm gonna have to work on all this. Get it all figured out and fixed up and do whatever I can for you. I wish you could, uh, open the or put like the gates up or yeah like the things because I'm pretty sure they did not uh, throw that in like where you can't put them so you can close them because that'd be perfect for here for right now so I guess I won't be able to do that but I think that's going to be it for this episode today I hope you enjoyed of course checking out all the new updates and everything of course we have the hotel we can view from now and see some of our park because you know as much as we can see and everything so I guess that's kind of cool and everything but i want to thank you for watching this episode and i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to check out more jurassic world evolution videos and don't forget to leave a thumbs up to show me that you enjoyed and leave any comments you have for me down below any suggestions or anything like that for me but please do all that i appreciate it all and i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode